struggle today, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it was one of the tougher outings I've had all year. Uh, it uh, it was really good. I had you know all three pitches. My velocity wasn't there, but I was able to keep them off balance with it, and it uh, it worked out for us in the end. With only scoring two runs. Any doubt you were going back out there in the ninth? No, no. You know, I I kind of worried once we got a once we got a runner on that I might come out, but it's it's never a big deal. Pitch count and stuff like that doesn't really bother me, and you know I was going to finish the game one way or another. Coach Mason felt like it took you two or three innings to get your groove. When did you start feeling that? I say about two or three. It usually takes a while. You know, the first couple innings, you kind of just got to get the feel for the umpires and get your arm more loose than maybe it should be before you go out there. But after that, you know, it was it was good. In a game like this, I mean, it seems like you haven't gotten much run support throughout the year. I mean, do you? The team obviously has a lot of confidence in you on the mound. How much confidence do you have to keep telling yourself you need to have in the hitters to get to those two runs? Um, you know, it's it is what it is. You know, they're going to score their runs. It's just a matter of time. And you know, I just got to worry about me. You know, the hitters worry about hitting the pitcher and worrying out, figuring out how to hit a, you know, hit the breaking ball and get some runs. And however many they score, hopefully it's enough. You know, if it's in the first or ninth inning, as long as we're winning, it doesn't really matter. It seemed like the uh, the change up, the the breaking stuff was really working well for you. Was that what you were think, feeling out there too? Yeah, it, it really helped. You know, they really uh, it really helped keep them off balance. And it was the first time that in a long time that all three pitches have worked. And with with three pitches, it's a lot better, a lot easier to pitch. And you know, it really it made my fastball look a little bit better than it was today, and made my off speed also better. You got going as the you know as the game went on. I mean, they said you worked really hard in the off season. Talk a little bit about that. And, you know how it. How you get going in the, you know, towards the late half of the game? Yeah, um, you know, in the off season, yeah, I was a, I was a kind of bigger kid, so they had to put me on a nutrition plan, got me in the weight room a lot more, and it's really helped me later in the innings. You know, I still do the same stuff I did in the off season, and my arms getting stronger, and so it, it's able to it's allowing me to throw you know more pitches and not just you know stop after six innings depending on the situation. So it's been really good, and it, you know, hopefully it continues. Coach Bates, you said that you. Uh... You would admit you probably don't have the best stuff in the league, but you've been consistent this season. You've gone out and done this every time almost. I mean, what allows you to be so consistent, and how do you keep that approach going every time to try to keep it consistent every time out? You know, they, they put us on a really good routine. You know, they're, they're big on routines, Coach Matlock and Coach Mazie are. And really, that's the that's the key. Just if you're staying in your routine, you know, you might not have the best stuff. You can throw strikes, make them swing. Let the, you know, let the fielders field the ball. You know, it's it just helps a lot. And... As, you know, I don't have the best stuff in the league. You know, that's that's fine. But you know, if they can swing and keep them off balance, if they're still going to have trouble with it, and that's been a big part of it. You set a career high in strikeouts today. I mean, 14. Um, when you go out there and you're able to do that kind of thing, I mean, you said have confidence in the defense, but if they can't hit it. That's even better. Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if I can strike people out and help our defense give them a little break in between batters or something, that's that's only good. But. Uh, it's you know strikeouts come with it. You know I, I don't really go out there trying to strike a lot of people out. No matter what people say, I'm not really a strikeout guy. And you know, I've had a few games like this, but you know I just try to pitch the contact. And if they you know if they swing and miss and get out, then that you know makes it good. This point of the season, the innings you've thrown, how, how big is the rain out like yesterday to, to give you another day? Did you feel more yeah, fresh it, today? It really helped for today. You know it's it's been good because you know it gives me an extra day of rest. Uh, next week because we play a little earlier. I think we play Thursday. If I have to throw Thursday, it'll be a little harder. So it's a kind of you know, double-bladed swords type thing. But for today, it was really good. It, it you know my arm was perfect today, and you know it worked out. If they throw on Friday night, they expect to throw, and if they don't, yeah. they're all screwed. You know, it would, I mean, it would have been nice to play. You know, stay in your routine, get an extra day. You know, it's kind of kind of lost on what to do last night. I didn't really, I didn't go out there and throw or anything, but. You know, it, uh, it's good to have an extra day off when you can, and, you know, today really helped us all. When a game like this-